Hey guys, how are you doing? So I just got back from Sainsbury's and I just thought, oh, let me show you guys what I got because I always get different, I always see something new. So what I do is I typically get stuff that's not fruit and vegetables from Sainsbury's or Tesco um, or Aldi, no, Sainsbury's or Tesco. And then I get my micronutrients from Aldi, like fruit, veg and stuff. But anyway, so I thought I would show you guys um, what I bought today. Let me just go and grab it. Yes, I'm wearing shorts because what I did, uh, do you know what, this morning, I li as soon as I woke up, I just literally put on my clothes and went straight to Sainsbury's because I like to go early in the morning because then, you know, the car park is not as full and that kind of thing. So I still need to get ready. I'm going gym later. So the first thing that I got, I saw this in their freezer section. It's coconut milk smoothie pellets. I thought I could add it to smoothies. But the thing is, I don't, I'm not a big, like I, I have a love-hate relationship with coconut. I notice that sometimes when I have anything with coconut in it, I get this funny tummy ache. Um, I thought I would get it for the kids. Um, I also got just some innocent smoothie for the kids lunchbox and then I saw this it's Tropicana um, little bottles it's just pressed apple juice so I got that for them as well and you, you know last time I bought this thing because it was on sale so I bought this last I, I don't know if you guys remember my other like food haul I bought this because it was on sale and I like it the kids really like it so now I've been buying I, I literally bought the whole box it's now 60p each. When I bought it, it was 40p each then. But we actually really, really like it. Like the whole family likes this thing. It's very, very nice. And then I've got my date syrup. I've got chickpea. This is only 60p. So I've got chickpea and also black beans. And then I've got this. These are blissful banana chips. Um, these are for the kids. Um, it's for their lunch box. And I think I picked this picked this up by accident because I was initially I picked up the I picked up a couple of these and then I saw the blissful banana chips and then I put these back. But I guess I left this in the basket, so I had, I just paid for it anyway. And this one was only 50p. And then I also got this um, rice pudding, coconut collaborative rice pudding. I I'm thinking the kids might like it. I don't know. We'll try it out. And then these are chocolate coins um they're the they're from the free from range so it's free from wheat gluten and milk so i bought this for the kids even though my kids are not vegan by the way but i always try to make a healthier choice even though this is probably not healthy if that makes sense and then i've got some frozen strawberries i probably would have normally picked this up in aldi because it would have been cheaper this was two pounds and i think in aldi they're like one pound 65 or one pound 40 along those lines but because I'm thinking I want to have, I might have a smoothie today, that's why I bought it. And I also got some frozen mango chunks as well. Uh, agave nectar, this was only £2.50. This is good for like baking, if you want to put it in your porridge. It's like an alternative to honey. And then this was just bought on a, on a whim. Um, this, it was, it's pure leaf black tea with vanilla. Um... I just, you know, it's getting colder now, so I'm not really a big tea drinker, to be honest, but I just thought I would try this. And then I also got some cocoa dairy-free chocolate milk. Uh, my daughters, the girls, they love chocolate milk, and they have the Otilly one, but I was thinking I can put one of these in their lunch boxes. Uh, my son doesn't like anything chocolate he doesn't like stuff like that i also got oh that's another date syrup um this is for my chocomilo he's he wanted um tuna he wanted um tuna and then these pom-pom bears and these popcorns they're the I don't know how to pronounce this, but they're like, they're called skinny popcorn. I don't know why you call anything skinny. That's not very good, is it? And then my favourite, favourite bread, bagel, should I say. I love this bagel. 
I always get the white and the brown one, but today the brown one were on sale and they're one pound each, so I picked up two of these. Absolutely love this bagel, so soft and so nice. And then I've also got some peeled plums. It was, this was on sale. If it wasn't on sale, I wouldn't have bought it. This was, I think, £2.50. It's normally £4. I think it's £2.50 or £3, I think. That's the only reason why I bought it. Normally, I'll just get the Audi one. And then I've got these as well. These are the uh, yo-yo. You know, do you remember that the winders? I think they were called winders back in back in our day. But now these are like pure fruit. It's just made out of fruit. So I like to put it in the kids' lunchbox. And these are their favourite flavours. And it's currently on sale now. This was two pounds. Yeah, this was two pounds. So two pounds each. And then I also got this. Um, vegan cheese i put it in the kids um lunch box sometimes and my son likes it i'm not really a big fan of cheese I, even when i wasn't eating even when i was eating like dairy and stuff i don't like whenever i used to eat pizza i know this is gonna sound crazy but whenever i ate pizza i used to feel like it was always stuck at the back of, like a phlegmy thing at the back of my throat so yeah i just and this and the reason why i bought this as well no this wasn't on sale this is one pound sixty or two pounds and they sell it in tesco as well but yeah, my son likes it. And and I've got some jasmine rice. I don't know what it is. Normally, I know all my life I've been eating American boy. If you're Nigerian, you know about the American boy. Is it American boy rice? American boy long grain. But then I just found a thing for jasmine rice. And I love it. I love jasmine rice. I'm the only person that likes it in this house. So the others eat American boy. And then I've got my jasmine rice. I eat the other rice too, but I just really, really like this. So yeah, that is everything. Our flat is so warm right now that the, sh the mangoes and strawberries are starting to melt. God, I am grateful because it is cold outside and the heater is not even on, but my place is very, very warm and I am so grateful for that. My hands are so dry right now and every winter I always make this um, sheer butter cream and that's what I'm about to do now. So. I've got my shea butter in here from Nigeria. I have a thing, I cannot, I have to have a bath before I go to the gym. I've never been to the gym and haven't had like a shower or so. I have to do something to my body before I go to the gym. I can't go to the gym and then come back and bath. I find it very weird. I would rather have a shower, go to the gym, come back, have a shower again. I don't know, it's all weird. But let me make this thing and I'll show you how I make it. I'm gonna whip it, whip it, whip it. That should be about enough. I really, this thing smells horrible, but you know, it does the body good. I'm gonna add in my argan. Oh, my hand is getting all sticky already. Some vitamin E oil. Mm. Olive oil. Some neem oil. That tangerine essential oil smells so good. Now I'm gonna add in some jojoba oil as well. Some of this, and I think, do you know what? I'm going to add in some coconut milk. I think, I've never done that before. I don't typically do that, but I was thinking maybe I should try something new. this is what it looks like I only made a small batch but 
I only made a small batch, but look at my hands. So nice and it feels, my hands feel soft. I have, I really, really suffer with dry skin, especially on my hands during the winter times, because I'm always like, my hands are always in water. Like either washing plates, washing, you know, you know, just all, my hands are always in water for some reason. So it's always dry, but look, it feels so soft. But anyway, I'm gonna go get ready now because I think I'm gonna use this all over my body. Yeah, I'm gonna go get ready because it's one o'clock and I still haven't left this house. So I need to go get ready. It is 1.48 and I'm just going to the gym now. It'll probably take me another 15 minutes to walk there. I think they close at five, so I should have enough time. Hopefully I can film something, hopefully, 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 but see you at the gym. I got home from the gym about 20 minutes ago. As I was filming the workout, the memory card um, that I have said that there was no more space and the memory card in this big camera is not compatible with that camera and the one that I ordered on Amazon is not coming on till Thursday. So I think I'm just gonna go and buy a memory card tomorrow if I want this Vlogmas thing to, if I want this consistent thing, if I want this consistency thing to happen. But I have to end the video now because if I don't, this video might not go up tonight because I haven't edited anything and it's 5.30. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I know it's a bit, it's been a bit of a random one. And also thank you very much for all the comments in yesterday's video. I really, really appreciate your suggestions and see you guys tomorrow, hopefully. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. See you tomorrow. I'm so hungry.